I hope you guys enjoyed our violent monster, but let's actually get into the beer. But before we do that, we review all things craft beer on this channel, so if you're new, consider subscribing. We are reviewing a violin monster from Arbor Brewing in technically Ypsilanti, Michigan. The fun fact about violin monster is that he is a street performer in Ann Arbor and he literally plays violin while wearing this like werewolf mask. There's a couple, there's like a bunch of YouTube videos on it, I think. So this guy is a spiced double stout with wheat coming in at nine and a half percent. So this is something a little different, which I assume it kind of goes with the name of the beer. He's a little bit different, so. Ooh, it's, it's really dark. Yeah. It is. Uh, there's no light coming through that. Quite opaque. It looks, it. I mean, there's a lot of double stouts that look like oil. This, that, that, that's, it's this, one of that's this one. Uh, not much head. You got a little bit of a mocha dusting there. New band name, call it mocha dusting. It's definitely different. It doesn't smell like a stout. I mean, a little bit, but. It smells, you can it smells like a stout, but. You can smell the wheat. Yeah, the wheat is more prominent. There's a little bit of that spice character. The stout's probably the third thing I smell. And it's not like a normal kind of spice. It's not like pumpkin pie spice or something, right? It's, I don't know. It probably is a little cinnamon. Stop sniffing it and taste it. Prost. Prost. I, what? I don't know what to say. It's what this. I expected, but also not what I expected. Whoa, that's a revelation. I really just can't put words onto this beer. It's very unique. It's thick, but it's yes. got the spiciness, of course, which you would expect from the label. But it's also when you finish on it, it has like a kind of a sour note to it. it it's sweet. It's tangy. Tang. There we go. That is a better word. Tangy. tangy. Word of the day. Tangy. I think we've used that before. I don't care. It's very complex. Like there are a lot of layers here. And I think that's why it's hard for us in this short review to break it down and what those layers are. I really wish I had some food to taste with it. It's pretty easy drinking for nine and a half percent. It's very smooth. I think you get a lot of spice in the finish. Obviously it's a heavier mouthfeel. Yeah, it's like, just heavy. Straight up heavy. Straight up heavy. Yep. Straight up I'm with heavy. That. I'm done with that. Straight up heavy, new band name. I need another one of these to really, yeah. like I need to have someone else tell me what to think. <laughs> someone else tell me what this beer is supposed to taste like because I don't know. So we got this beer from in Beer Mail. If you saw that episode a couple yeah. couple weeks ago. So again, thanks Dave for sending Thank it you, to Dave. us. I can keep drinking this, but I also am very confused. It's really good, but at the same time, I don't like I don't know what I'm getting here. I think this is kind of in the same part ballpark for me as brown sugar, where I don't necessarily completely enjoy it when I don't have food. It's it's a lot to handle without something else to complement it. So well done, Arbor and Dave. You have stumped us. I don't even think we could do ratings on this. Can you rate this? It's a question mark. It drinks really well as a stout as you kind of get into it. That's the first. But we really tried to really be first. honest about it, but at the same time, I like I can't. I don't know. I'm like Tim Allen from Home Improvement right now. Because uh. he's from Michigan too. So I don't even know what to do since we didn't do a rating. Like it's like life is incomplete right now. That being said, we still have a fridge full of other Arbor beers. And we're really excited to try those. Yeah. We'll be doing those on Instagram and Twitter, probably. We have a big update. We sold our first shirt on Designed by Humans. That's our where we're selling our merch through. Danielle was our first patron. Yeah, we posted a picture of her sporting the goods on our Instagram. So check it out. Check out our Designed by Humans page. All right, guys. Until next time, for lager, for porter, and bottles are on draft, we're your favorite couple for all things beer. Maybe I should rewind there. <laughs> <laughs> I think this... I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I think that... <laughs> I'm sorry. And then you just don't say it. I think that... <laughs>